Living with a Fracture, a conversation with teens. Taylor was chasing after the soccer ball when they tripped over another player's feet. Taylor's arm was hurting a lot, so their parents decided to take them to the hospital. Taylor had never had any medical problems before, so they were nervous. After the nurse gave Taylor some Advil and some ice for their sore arm, the technician took an x-ray. Later, the doctor told Taylor and their family that Taylor had a broken arm and needed a cast. Luckily, Taylor had a simple fracture or a broken bone that could be treated without surgery. Sometimes, surgery is needed for more complicated fractures, but this is uncommon in kids. Given the type of fracture that Taylor had, they were fitted with a plaster cast. The nurse explained some important information about plaster casts. Plaster casts take a few days to completely dry once applied. They are not waterproof, so they can't come in contact with water. And you can't take them off. Some people get fiberglass instead of or on top of the plaster, but even fiberglass casts need to stay dry on the inside. The nurse also told Taylor and their parents that they need to wear a protective covering such as a plastic bag or silicone cast cover over the cast while bathing and showering. Wrapping the cast in a towel can protect from the humidity in the shower, but you still need to keep the cast away from the water. Bathing and showering take longer with a cast on, and children and youth often need help with these tasks, especially the first few times. The nurse recommended that Taylor keeps the cast clean and dry, and that Taylor should care for the cast by covering the edges with waterproof tape. The nurse also explained to Taylor and their family that they need to seek healthcare immediately if Taylor's fingers turn blue or pale, tingle, burn, or are numb or cold, or if Taylor has severe pain that is getting worse or does not go away after taking pain medicine, or if Taylor develops a fever. The nurse continued to explain that Taylor's parents needed to call their family doctor if something falls into or is put in the cast and gets stuck, the cast gets damaged, there is a bad smell coming from the cast, the cast feels loose after a few days and Taylor can move their wrist in it, Taylor's hand swells or the cast feels tighter, Taylor sees skin changes such as rashes, breaks, sores or blisters coming out from the edges of the cast. Skin can get really itchy while a cast is on. The nurse warned Taylor not to poke anything into the cast as it could injure the skin and cause infection. Instead, applying an ice bag over the cast can help relieve the itchiness. Before Taylor left the ED, the nurse and the doctor gave Taylor some advice on how to stay comfortable and manage pain. The advice included, using over-the-counter pain medications such as Advil and Tylenol when needed, using a sling to help hold the arm in place, and using pillows when sitting or lying down to raise the arm. Finding things to distract Taylor from the pain during the day can also be helpful, such as playing a game or talking with friends. It was the first night after Taylor had broken their arm and they couldn't sleep. Taylor still had some pain and the cast kept them from putting their hand under their pillow like they usually do when sleeping. The next day, Taylor remembered what the nurse had told them and how raising their arm and icing it could help. Taylor's arm was quite sore, so they asked their mom for some Advil and then propped their arm with pillows. When a bone is broken, the first three days are usually the worst for pain, and then the pain gradually goes away for most people. Taylor was told they had to keep the cast on for about four to six weeks. Taylor knew that their soccer team had the city tournament coming up and Taylor was really looking forward to playing. Taylor was comforted by the fact that their coach told them that they might be able to join in warm-ups in a few weeks if it was okayed by the doctor at the follow-up visit. Taylor was bored and remembered that their friend Aisha had broken her arm last year. Taylor decided to ask her for advice. Aisha said, stay as busy as possible, otherwise you'll get really frustrated. Also, try not to scroll on your phone all day. There are plenty of safe activities when you have a broken arm. Just ask which of your usual activities you can still do, and which should be paused while you're healing. It wasn't hard for Taylor to go back to school, but because they had fractured their right arm, the cast made it hard to write with and use their dominant right hand. Taylor did their schoolwork on a laptop, using their left hand when their right hand got tired. After six weeks, Taylor's doctor said that the cast could be removed. Taylor went back to the cast clinic to get it taken off. Their arm was a bit stiff and weak when the cast first came off, but with exercise and a slow return to regular sports and activities, Taylor quickly gained their normal strength back. For most fractures, children will be able to return to sports in six to eight weeks. But ask your doctor when the time is right for your child, and if they need any special protection.